What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and I am very excited to bring to you yet another HTC One M8 video. This is on a case from Otterbox. I have not done an Otterbox video in a long time since the Note 2 and we're just like weeks away from getting the Note 4 so it's um pretty exciting to be able to do another Otterbox video and I gotta go ahead and get this thing open. All right, here we go. I like the packaging. That is cool. I am definitely feeling the packaging on this thing. It's very basic. We've got technology covered, and that they do. OtterBox is very, very well known for providing cases that will <laughs> let your phone withstand stuff it normally would not be able to. So now we've just got to figure out how this thing opens up from this little thing right here. And then this lifts up, and we've got some goodies in here. Now OtterBox did send this to me, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all these cases real quick. And there we go. We have quite a few of them. We've got this little boy, bad boy. I think this is the commuter case. Uh, you also have the really tough one right here, and I really am feeling the green. If you've seen the Instagram pictures and videos of my car, I have a green car. <laughs> People stop me all the time and say, hey, I love the color of your car. So now I just got to get this thing out of there. All right, there we go. And we also have a commuter case that comes with a hard shell and a soft shell. And here is the little um, cover that comes with, and it comes with a little screen protector. Now I'm not a screen protector guy. I completely fail at putting on screen protectors, but this case right here does come with it. I will link to these three cases in the description below so you can choose which one you like better, which one will suit your needs more and go from there. So this one's like a two layer design. You put the soft layer on first and then you put the hard skeleton layer on next. And then it just goes around like this. All right, kind of put this in there first, push this back, and then that goes down in there like such. It's got rubber on the sides here. So if it hits a corner, it's gonna be rubbery. I like it, it's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and take this off and put that on. All right, you just get the hard layer off and then you get the soft layer off. And there you go. All right, it looks like this one goes with this one right here. So this is two cases and <laughs> yeah. So this one's like the really tough one. This one just cracks apart from the top here. This is my first time messing with this version of the case. So please bear with me and pull this back right here and then take that off. You'll just take your phone and you'll place it inside there. And then you put that one on here. And this is the Defender. This is the bad boy. Uh, also, I would recommend making sure that the screen on your phone is clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Man, my color is bad right now. It's like really not, <laughs> there we go, it's got a little bit better. Don't know what happened there. So let's go ahead and put the phone back in there like this, put this on top of it. Go ahead and snap it up. And make sure everything's clicked in and Good to go, and then there you go. Now you have your outside like layer that you just go ahead and you place around it like this, and then you just slowly fill in all the little crevices with the rubbery outside layer part thing, and once you get it all in there, there we go. Look at that. We've got a nice little case there. Now the power button is kind of far down in there, so when you go to push it, it is kind of a little reach to get in there, but you can go ahead and just double tap on the screen with the HTC One M8, and it turns the screen on, or you can swipe up to turn it on. So I'll probably get a little more used to that, because that is in there kind of far. Uh, the nice thing is, is that camera's deep down in there, so when you're laying it down on the table, you don't have to worry about the camera getting scratched up. And this one also is the same way, 
so you can have these laying down like this and not worrying about that getting scratched up. And on this one, the entire outside is made out of rubber, so it doesn't matter where it hits. It's it's nice. It also feels like it's going to stay in your hands and not slip and slide as easy. The volume buttons are still very easy to press. Absolutely nothing to it at all. You've got your bottom port here for going ahead and charging it and putting in your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to listening to music. I use the Bluetooth, so I'm not even going to hardly ever use that except to charge my phone. Other than that, looks like a pretty solid case. So obviously I will link to both of these cases in the description below and you can decide which one suits you better and which one you think you would use more than the other. Uh, I do like this one, but I like the extra protection you get. I feel like I can just throw my phone and not worry about anything happen happening to it. And this one does come with a screen protector. So if you are wanting to get a screen protector, check that one out. And you also have a nice little belt clip. You can... Go ahead and throw your phone in there and you can see the little notches where it secures on both sides. So if you wanted to go ahead and flip it around this way, you could do that. Rock it on your hip. Nice firm twists. It does a whole spin around so it doesn't stop a certain way and very cool. So yeah, links to purchase these cases will be in the description below. You can choose which one suits your needs more and, you know, decide which one you'd rather have. I really like the green on this one, so I think I'm going to rock this one. And it has that built-in screen protector that you can see right there, sort of underneath this little where the camera is. So, built-in screen protector. I don't have to put it on. I don't have to <laughs> worry about bubbles or anything like that. I'm definitely rocking this case from here on out. The only thing I'm going to miss is my previous case from a different company has a kickstand. And I can't tell you how many times I set my phone up. And use the kickstand on it to watch a YouTube video, to record a front-facing video, uh, have a Skype conversation, and etc. So I'm going to definitely miss that kickstand. I guess the only thing I'd like to see in the future is a model that does support a kickstand. And you have OtterBox's awesome protection. Plus, you have the convenience of a little kickstand to prop up your phone. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. My color is absolutely freaking terrible. I'm very sorry. I don't know how to operate the white balance very well. There you go. It actually looks a little bit better now. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram to stay up to the latest videos that I'm working on, what's coming out next, and etc. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here and you haven't done that already. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.